Hey guys, it's Chris. It is now 10.22 p.m. here in stormy Connecticut. Oh my god, it just started thundering, lightning, raining, like you would not believe. Craziness going on here. Um, and I'm laughing because there's a lady. Uh, she's, the, she's the owner, not owner, she's the president of the Homeowners Association of these condos. And she lives two doors down from me, but we our back sections connect. So our porches connect, and she hates me. She, for some reason, I don't know what her deal is, but anytime she can get me in trouble with my landlord, she does. So, it started raining about an hour ago. Like, it'll be like downpour, then it'll stop, then it'll downpour, then it'll stop. And my daughter went out earlier in their life. She's like, oh, the mean lady's sunroof is wide open. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so happy. It's like, the best revenge, like karma at its best. Karma at its best. I've never done anything to this woman. I barely leave my house. You know, I mean, I'll go to the pool with the kids, whatever, run errands, do, you know, do my stuff. But, like, I don't bother people. I'm really quiet. I don't bother people. I'm not, you know, I don't throw rager parties, anything like that. I don't know what this woman's issue is. I think she just, I think she's, well, she's a loner, and I think she has nothing better to do. But So she takes her job way too seriously but anyway I'm, I, karma's getting her back karma always gets you it always gets you so always be nice um so i am doing a haul this is the last haul of the evening um i've done i think i've done four today and um this one is my second haul i believe from granny's um country candles and there's good and there's bad. So I don't know, what do you want me to start off with? The bad? Very really good. Um, I'm going to start off with the bad. Um, yeah, I'm going to start off with the bad. Hold on one second. I'm going to find the bad. I'm going to find the bad here. Um, I ordered a bunch of her my last month as a consultant. It was a sale, and one of the, um, like, prizes or whatever, or freebies, if you ordered over $30, was this beautiful um, cup, scoopable parfait cup, and I will show you that, because I'm going to have to go out of frame, because it's sitting on my table, but that's gorgeous, that's just gorgeous, but, um, that, so that was the sale for last month. And, oh, here it is. This is the bad. Okay, she has a um, category called room and body spray sets. And she has body sprays. Yeah, she has specific. She has room sprays, and then she has body sprays. Um... It says, pick your signature scent and enjoy. Just a few sprays will last hours and hours. With over 200 aromas, there's, there is certain to be one for you. All of the fragrance for just a fraction of the price. Now, these were on sale. Um, so I picked up a bunch of them. I don't exactly remember what... Oh, let me just check here. I, say, I don't really remember what they were on sale for. Um... Let me see if I can find it. It may not give me no. Um, but there, she had a special on um, the cookies for your warmer. So a bunch of cookies I got. And then I ordered three room sprays. Oh, no, they weren't on sale. Well, they're $6.95 a piece. And with over 200 cents, you would think Chris would pick some great scents, right? I don't know. I think I was just trying to get to the $30 limit. And so I kind of, I don't know. I will read you the descriptions of these because this is definitely a don't for me. These are, does it say concentrated body spray? Um, keep out of reach of pets and children. Shake well before using. Spritz liberally for a pick up any time of day. I thought I'd kind of like use these in my hair to 
you know, it doesn't say how, it doesn't say how big the bottles are. Um, let me check the site again. See if it says it doesn't say. These are small. I would say these are about like four ounces, maybe, maybe, possibly, maybe even two ounces. No, I don't know. I'm so bad with measurements, guys. But they come in these nice bottles, these nice aluminum bottles. Um, and this one is. I cannot stand. Oh, there it is. It's in Beach Beach Baby Body Spray. So just by the name, I thought I would love this scent. Um, I do believe I read the scent description, and I'll read it to you here. And of course, I'll post Granny's information below. Um, now, for the most part, you really can't like beat her prices, and it's really really good. But I don't know, hit or miss with me, hit or miss, you know, um, on both the tarts and the body sprays, obviously. Um, but this one is called Beach Baby. Okay, so this is described as a wonderful, as wonderful as a baby on a warm sunny day. Delightful blend of lemon and lime mingles with bottom notes of coconut and a slight hint of eucalyptus. Okay. So, I did read the description, and I said, okay, a slight hint of eucalyptus that probably won't be offensive to me. As you guys know, I don't do mints, okay? But I have to tell you, I, I think it's the lemon and lime mix. I smell no coconut in this, okay? When I open this up here, and unfortunately... She has these blue, like, rubber stoppers to keep it from leaking on all the other ones. This one didn't have one. So this one leaks all over the place. So, of course, the one that offends me the most. Okay. So, to me, this smells like Vicks VapoRub. That's exactly what this smells like. I do not want to spray myself. Oh, see, it's all drippy. Even on my skin. It smells like... Vicks Vaporub. I, I do not smell um, coconut at all, which bothers me. And again, it's super leaky because it's leaking all over the place because she didn't put the blue stopper in. You'll see um, from the last one or the next ones, but there's a blue stopper that's supposed to go inside and I'll show it to you. But this one's just leaking all over the place. You know, it's leaking on the label. Yeah, it's not picking it up, but it's like darker over here because it's it's gotten all over the label and everything like that. Um, so yeah, this just like I said, smells like Vicks Vapor Rub to me. Beach Baby, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, lemon and lime citrus smell would be nice, but it there's not a hint of eucalyptus in here. There's a ton of eucalyptus in here, and all I smell is Vicks Vapor Rub. So I will not be wearing this. I won't. I, in fact, although Wendy's really, really great um, as far as customer service goes. So I messaged her and asked her. I told her I would mail this back to her. I'll take shipping to mail this back if she could send me a different scent because I am just not like I, I can't wear this. I can't wear it. It's offensive to me. I just cannot wear this. Um, so hopefully she will send me a new one. I, like I said, I will be more than happy to ship this back. Never been used. You know, just opened the top just to smell it, but um, I, I can't do this. I just can't. Um, and again, and the bottle was defective. Like I said, you, you, you know, if you never open it, I guess maybe it might be fine. I don't know. I'm afraid that like if I put it in my cabinet or I put it, I have like a, like a kind of like a co like a cosmetic tote or bag that I put all my fragrances in, and I'm kind of afraid like most of them, you know, you can lay them down and stack them on top of each other, but if I lay this down. Yeah, see, it's still dripping. I'm afraid, like, if I lay this down, it's going to just leak all over the place. So, um, but I would be more than happy to ship this back to you, Wendy. So, if you could contact me. I already, I already sent you an email. So, I sent her an email. So, hopefully, she'll respond and send me a replacement for this one because I just don't. Or a, not a replacement. I don't want another one of these. I want a different set. But, anyway, an exchange. Whatever. Um, so, we shall see about that. But yeah, that was that was actually the worst of 
this haul. So I don't want everyone going, oh my god, it's going to be an awful haul. It really, really wasn't. A um, little disappointing in the body sprays, I'm not going to lie. Um, I thought they were going to be bigger. There was no, I mean, for six ninety five, I just really thought this was going to be bigger. Although a lot of people have used the body sprays, have raved about them, and have said that they last forever. I'm just super into strong scents, and I usually use perfume oils, which really last a long time. So I'm not sure. But like I said, I was kind of just thinking of these as like, oh, just mist every once in a while, you know what I mean, on a hot day or whatever. You, know, you think you're smelling kind of funky, you know, you've been sweating a lot or whatever, just put it in your hair kind of thing, whatever. Um, this one is called... Blonde moment, and this one is described as, well, I've been accused of having them. This is a great fragrance with a base of citrus and amber and topped with coconut, and the amber is what really got me because, I mean, I ordered that one, and that one was a citrus, so I was like, do I really want two citruses? But then I said amber and coconut, I mean, you know, that's, I love amber, and that's my all-time favorite scent. I have, I also have that in, um, from a different vendor, but in a oil perfume, so I figured this would like complement it really well. And this one's not that bad at all, to be honest with you. I'm not really getting the thing. I think is the amber is really it smells a little alcoholy. Alcoholy? That's not that's not a word. But you can kind of smell the alcohol or whatever they use in it to you know the base of it. Water, polysorbate 20, polysorbate 80, something I can't pronounce. Um, another thing I can't pronounce. I don't know. I don't know if there's an alcohol, any alcohol in this at all whatsoever, but it does smell a little bit on the alcohol side. But it's not offensive. I think the amber is really, um, this is more of like an amber scent. It's not my favorite amber scent that I've ever smelled before. I don't smell coconut, but I, but you can t smell a little bit a little bit of citrus also. So I don't find this offensive. I mean this this I may use, and you know what? Um, this I may use this one. Oh, but what I wanted to show you is oh, this isn't showing it. This doesn't have it on here either now. And I know this one has one. I probably screwed it all the way up to the top. They have these little blue stoppers or whatever to keep it from leaking. And that, that one didn't have it. This one had it, but I don't know. That was Blonde Moment. Um, this one I actually really, really like. I It's weird because I don't melt. I should say I don't melt. I have a lot of bakery foodie, foodie scent, um, scents that I melt in wax. But as far as putting it on my... I mean, so uh, that I... Okay. Blech. Start over, Chris. I have a lot of wax that's foodie and bakery, but as I've posted in other videos, I'm kind of over that whole bakery foodie thing. To me, they kind of all start to smell the same, you know, and so, you know, I knew this order was coming. I wasn't all that excited about it because it was a lot of the cookies and stuff like that, um, but I really wanted that parfait, so I said, okay, I, I'm going to place an order. Bye. Um... But this one is in Amaretto Coffee, and what's funny is in my perfume oils, most of them are foodie. Not foodie as in, like, not foodie as in, like, oh, God, it's hard to describe. Almost bakery. Um, I have one that's chocolate marshmallow. It's called Coco Mallow. Um, one that's coffee marshmallow. Cafe Mallow, um, one that's called Sugar Vale, and it's my ultimate favorite, and it has so many, it's got nuts in it, and brown sugar, and caramel, and just all these scents that just are to die for, and that is like my go-to scent, like when people smell it, they're like, that's Chris, like, you know, and it's just funny, my boyfriend's sister was over the other day, and she grabbed my blanket that I use every night, she goes, oh my god, this smells just like you, I'm like, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> it's what I wear every day, so, but, um, this is Amaretto Coffee, and again, I, don't, I mean, 
that description. Everyone probably knows what Amaretto smells like, but it says strong but not overpowering, great coffee fragrance. So when I opened this one, no, this it's not going to show. Just because last time they're really filled to the top, though, guys. So that's good. This is really nice. It's a really nice amaretto scent. I'm not catching like too much coffee, but it's definitely amaretto. Almost more like an amaretto syrup kind of thing that you would, you know, like add to a coffee. But it's really, really nice. I like it. I mean, I like this one. This one I will wear. And in fact, this one will go with a lot of my big, my, my body oils, my body oil perfumes that I use. Um, you know, the scents I think will, will melt very well or meld very well together. So that was my body spray experience. Um, I asked to trade this one for, um, Bailey's Irish Cream. So I'm hoping she'll do it. I'm hoping she'll do it. I think she'll do it. Wendy's Wendy's awesome. I mean, she's super busy, but she's she's awesome. I mean, I'll probably get it at some point. Um, and if I ever order again, I believe I'm going to order um, bakery scents. I'm not going to go for anything citrusy or anything like that kind of thing. Um... Just because, again, because she has a lot of, she's like cafe caramel latte and cafe mocha latte and cafe orange latte. See, I should have gotten all coffees in these sprays. But anyway, I wanted to kind of try sort of like three different kind of things. Um, and like I said, one was an absolute no. The other one was, eh, you know, I could probably take it or leave it, but I may use it. And the amaretto coffee was, was a definite. So that was just kind of my... Um, I don't know. I don't know if I, I would, like I said, they weren't all duds. One was just an absolute dud, but the other ones weren't all duds. So next I got my samples that, um, from being a consultant each month, um, we would get samples so we could sample them and tell people, you know, what they smell like and everything. And I have to say there, here's, here, we're going on to the good review now. It gets kind of, I don't know, it doesn't get, but it gets kind of bad again, but it doesn't. I don't think it's bad. It's just my personal preference kind of thing. Um, last review I did with her, she they had changed to the cello bags, which is awesome. But she had she had been taping her cello bags. Like she had cello bags that didn't have the reusable, you know, reclosable seals. And I made I know I made a comment, a cat comments about it. I probably like beat it to death. Um, but I was so excited to see that now she has ta -da, the resealables. So maybe she was just waiting for them. Who knows? I don't know. Um, but this scent is in Spun Lemon Sugar. Now, I ordered um, last flash sale. Was it last one or the one before? Was the scent of the month? And it was um, all like all the lemon scents. I ordered a lot of them. This one's really nice. This is a lemon. I mean, obviously, I have to let every kid pick cure. I mean, I always, I always do. And with grannies too, you, you really do. You gotta let it cure. I know, I, I know it's a preference, but they just get better. I mean, the ones that I had, like from her, the ones that when she had her foil, that I repackaged everything into cello. I mean, those just smell divine, like amazing. Um, this is nice. This is almost like lemon spun sugar. Spun lemon sugar is almost, to me, like a lemon pound cake. It's kind of what it smells like to me. Um, let me see if it's on here. Let me see if she put it on the list. Let me see. B-E-A-G-H-I-J-K. Oh. Ah. Okay, well, I'm not really seeing it, but... Um, oh, maybe because I'm in there. Let me, let me just check here. Let me... No. She doesn't have it. Um, is it under Scent of the Month? Scent of the Month? Scent of the Month? Scent of the Month. 
No, actually, scents of the month this month are new scents, which I will have to try. Um, what I do have to say about Granny's is she's very affordable, and her tarts, like I said, sometimes they're duds, sometimes they're like amazing. Like I know, I think in the last video I melted, or in what I what I've melted this week or whatever. I melted a strawberry margarita and a margarita together. I put two of these in my warmer, my 24 pot, and there is never anything too strong for Chris, and I literally had to turn it off. And, like, I kind of cut, cut it in half, put the other half back in cello, and that was a little better. Um, but it was, whew, it was strong. It was kicking. So this lemon fun sugar, or this fun lemon sugar, I'm going to keep saying it backwards right now, is, it's a little, um, like I said, to me, I can smell the sugar, definitely. The lemon is very mellow, so it's not like that nice tart lemon that I like, but that's not to say once it cures, again, I tell everybody cure, 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 because once it cures, it could absolutely get that pop of lemon that I love, or it could just be a more mellow lemon scent. Um, but I, like I said, I really like that one. I do like it. Um, then I got, so I have a lot of these lemon scents, because I actually ordered, I o placed an order for the, I ordered all the lemon scents, that was the scents of the months were like all, last month were all lemon, I ordered them all, and then I wanted my, cause I didn't get my consultant um, samples, so she's like, well, I didn't, the consultant samples were the lemon, so I didn't know if you really wanted them, and I said, no, I did. Because I ordered two of each. So, you know, because when you order one, it's 60 cents a piece for a tart. And if you order two, it's 50 cents a piece for a tart. So you get two tarts for a dollar. So, of course, I ordered two of everything. And so I, I had two of all the lemons. So she's like, I didn't know you wanted more lemons. I didn't know what you wanted because this is my little consultant box right there. And for the sense of the month, which was the lemons. So I said, no, no, keep them coming, keep them coming. Like, I love lemons, keep them coming. Um, so I may have done cold sniffs on these already, and if I did, I apologize. I'm not going to have scent descriptions on them this time um, because I don't quite know where they went, to be honest with you. I could probably search them, but that would take too long. This one is, and I'm loving it. I love it. I love it, Wendy. Now that if you have the resealables, I love it. Um, this is in Lemon. Oops, of course my nails over it. New nails will be tomorrow. They were supposed to be today, but I didn't get out today. Um, this is in Lemon Dippity, and we're actually not having power. The electric company is coming out to do work, so we will not have power from 8.30 in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon. Now, you know the power companies. You know that they're going to shut it off 8.30 on the dot. Do you think it's going to be back on at 2.30? I don't know. It could probably, it's like the cable guy. It's probably going to be more like five or something. So what I'm going to do all day with no internet and no TV and no electricity, I have no idea. So I just figured, you know what? I'll get my nails done tomorrow and I'll do some shopping or whatever because there will be no electricity here. But this lemon dippity is really nice. I prefer it more to the spun lemon sugar or spun sugar lemon or whatever that scent was because I just can't pronounce I just keep saying it wrong um lemon dippity I think is supposed to be a uh, like a lemon serendipity it's really really nice but there's more of a lemon scent to this one I really like this one um lemon dippity um because like I said in the last review I had to cut all these with scissors if you saw it and then I had to have scotch tape and I had to tape them all back up which was really time consuming so Super happy, Wendy, you have three sealables. Yay! Um, this one is in pomegranate lemonade. And I wasn't too sure about this just because I'm not a big pomegranate fan at all. But I like this one because the, the lemonade scent definitely mellows out the pomegranate to me. If it's too strong in pomegranate, I don't like it. So this this is a really actually this is a really good combination actually. I really like this. Um, so pomegranate lemonade is a definite yes for me. Um, and then I got lemon ice box cupcake. 
and you know, I told you before I'm kind of over the bakeries, but if it's a lemon bakery, I, I'm kind of still down with it, but now this one's nice, but I don't, I don't know, like I said, I have to let it cure. I First on cold sniff, it almost smells like pledge to me. I don't know why. And not that I don't like the smell of pledge, because I do. I really do like the smell of pledge. I think pledge makes your house smell really, really nice and clean. But I'm not getting a whole bunch of, like, cakey scent. But I'm catching, I'm catching a bit. Um, cupcake scent. So I'm not smelling, like, any buttercream, which I don't like anyway. Um, or any of that, but... This is nice. Like I said, it, it, I don't know if it's true to its name. Um, lemon ice box cupcake. I don't know if it's true to its name, but I really like it. I do like it. Um, next is, oh, and then I asked for some coffees. Because that's what she said. She's like, I didn't know if you wanted all the lemon scents again. And I said, well, yeah, I, I love the lemon scents. But she threw me in some coffees, which is awesome. Because I told her, I said, I like lemon, I said, but I also like coffee. So she threw me in some coffees. Um, this one is straight up... Colombian coffee, and to me, you really cannot go wrong, okay, focus, oh, thank you, you really cannot go wrong with a um, straight-up coffee scent, I mean, you know, to me, it's even better if it's, like, mocha coffee or something like that, but, like, chocolate and coffee together, but straight-up coffee scent, you really can't go wrong, um, this is exactly what the name says, straight and strong black coffee. And this is a five-star. So I want to say that I have ordered this before, and it's in my granny's drawer. That sounds funny, in my granny's drawer. I don't have any grannies left, unfortunately. They've all passed on. But uh, my granny's country candle drawer, I have a whole drawer of her stuff, um, a big drawer. Um... But like I said, you really can't go wrong with straight-up coffee. I mean, and this does, this smells really good. Um, I'm hoping when I, like I said, when I cure this, it gets stronger. Because I really like in your face, almost like black coffee. Like Folgers, I think, has like a black silk. Which, I wish it came in a decaf. I'm so mad, because it doesn't. I, cause I used to drink it when it, I used to drink caffeine. And it's super duper strong. It's called black silk coffee. Like, it's just, whoa. And I love strong coffee. And unfortunately, decaf tend to be weak. Um, so, this is a wonderful coffee smell. I really like it. Straight up coffee. Um... Like I said, hopefully when it cures. Well, I know when it cures, it's going to get stronger, because all her stuff when it cures gets stronger. Um, <clears throat> next is, this one is what I was saying. I probably should have ordered the spray in this. Cafe Orange Latte. Like, that just sounds so yummy. That would go awesome with my Coco Mallow. I know my Coco Mallow. My Cafe Mallow. Um perfume oil. Oh my god, that would go so well. But this is a bold coffee with creamy orange and vanilla notes blended throughout. So lattes, obviously, you know, have more of a vanilla to them. So they're going to be a little lighter and a little um, creamier than your straight up coffee scent. Um, and this is nice. This is, um, I can definitely catch the orange. I'm not so sure if I'm smelling coffee right now. I can catch the orange and I can catch the vanilla. But I I know like that. I don't want to say You know how like coffee is acidy? Um, the acidity of coffee? It's like I can almost smell that in this. But this smells really, really good. I like it. I'm, I'm going to definitely be ordering more coffee scents from her too. So... I can't wait to see what um, tomorrow's sale is. Um, so this is, again, Cafe Orange Latte. And then she gave me... <clears throat> she 
cin- oh, caramel cinnamon latte. So it was really sweet of her. She kind of like, I told her I like coffee, so she kind of split the lemons and did, you know, she did three lemons and three coffees because she knew that, you know, I had so many lemons. So, I mean, you know, can you have too many lemons? Is there a saying about too many lemons? I know there's too many cooks in the kitchen, but too many lemons in your lemonade? I don't I have no idea. But caramel, car- caramel cinnamon latte. Now, this is really nice. I am usually very offended by cinnamon. I can't stand it. I can't do cinnamon. But this is a really, really nice, um, it's a, it says an astonishing coffee aroma, my new favorite coffee. That's just what she says about it. And this is a five star, because she has stars on her um, site as far as throw, like how strong they are. This is a five, this is a fiver. Um, and it's really nice, like I said. So you're going to get the caramel, you get the coffee, um, and you get the cinnamon. But the cinnamon's not offensive. It's not. And what's hard with cinnamon, it's really hard to make a tart that has cinnamon in it where the cinnamon does not overpower everything. You know, cinnamon's hard to, cinnamon and cherry, I think, are really hard to mix. That's just my opinion because I've gotten a lot of stuff that has cinnamon in it. And it's just, I open the bag, I'm like, woof, cinnamon. Like, okay, nope. We'll put it in the no pile. Um, and the same thing with cherry. Most cherries, most cherries that I have smelled, and that's from any vendor, they usually go in the no pile. And, you know, unfortunately, cause if it's a mix, I'll try it. But cherry and cinnamon are really hard to get the right, um, you know, combination of. But this is really, really nice. Actually, Maybe this would have been a really good caramel cinnamon latte would have been a nice body spray too. I don't know. Like I said, I may try her body sprays again. Um, I always give second chances. Sometimes I give third chances. Okay, now I'm gonna go. Um, and Granny's like I said, her deals are just amazing. So um, where are my sister? Are my scissors? I put everything out here specifically so that it would be right here. Hold on. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'm going to just have to rip the... Oh, here's my scissors. It's covered by my other charts. I'm like, I, I know I came prepared. <clears throat> okay, this is all... This is now... We're going on to the bakeries, which... Or the cookies, which I was really looking forward to. Um, unfortunately, <clears throat> she has... She used these cello bags again, and she sealed it with the label. So, which is always... Uh, well, what's good is she sealed it with the direction label, not the... The fragrance label, Oops. but I will be um, having to tape those back up, but whatever. I mean, you know, like I said, I prefer still the other resealables because I know they come in all different sizes, but, you know, sometimes you got to use up your inventory of what you got. So <clears throat> this is Cookies and Cream Sandwich Cookie, and if you can see, it looks like a little Oreo. I'm not going to pull them out because her wax can be very soft. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oh my god, excuse me. But it looks like a little Oreo. And it's got the filling inside, and there's three of them in here. Um, okay, I'll get to cutting. I just don't want to cut. The problem with this is I don't want to cut the side that has the wax on it. But I'm getting pretty good. This is really nice. And this does smell to me cookies and cream sandwich cookie. Now, I know it's probably not supposed to be a chocolate, an actual Oreo cookie. It could be, like, any scent. I was going to say I was going to pull it out, but look at me. I just can't help myself. This does smell like an Oreo to me. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, not as chocolatey as an Oreo. You know, that can, they can get very, very chocolatey. <clears throat> they are, the Oreos with the chocolate part of them is very chocolatey. Um, this one, they're so cute. Oh my god. This one reminds of one of the sugar cookies my mom's ma- my mom makes. This one is in lime sugar cookie with blueberry icing. She makes her icing with confectionery sugar, confectioner sugar, confectionery, I call it, whatever, and water. And that's it. And that's her icing. So it's like pure, oh, and food coloring. And so it's pure 
um, oh my god, my hair. So it's pure sugar on top of a sugar cookie. But that's exactly how my mom makes it. And this is this is what it reminds me of. But it's got like some little sprinkles, doodads on there, and they kind of melt. They kind of melted a little bit. Oh no, you can see them. There they are. Some of them have melted. But so this is lime sugar cookie with blueberry icing. And I thought lime and blueberry sounded really cool together. I was really hoping this was not going to be, although this was a really big box, but I was really hoping this was not going to be a very, very long video. But, again, as usual, although I did make three pretty small videos today, and I like this a lot. Um, the lime and the blueberry go really good together, and those are two scents, like a citrus and a blueberry, you just would not really think would be good. Really good. And, you, and the sugar cookie smells just like the sugar cookie, you know, the big, frozen, cut them, slice them, and put them in the oven. Um, this is a really, really nice scent. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm just going to put these over here because I'm going to have to take these ones, all these back up. But next we have, I got two of, no, maybe I didn't. This, is, this might be different. But this one is... Chocolate peanut butter cookie. Like, there's two of them in here, and it looks, they look like, like I said, they got a little melty. She puts the, um, what you call it? So these are resealables, but she put, she still put the label over it, but they are resealable. Oh, and this one's coming off. Well, that's cool. Okay. So I don't have to cut anything with this one. Um, she puts ice packs in. They still get pretty mushy to me. But see, it looks like the, the peanut butter cookies. I know everybody's like having a flashback right now. And going, oh my god, I remember those cookies that you used to make with your mom. And this is really good. Um, chocolate peanut butter. <clears throat> I'm not sure, but this peanut butter smell is to die for. I have not found a peanut butter smell that I really, really like. Because most of them just don't smell like peanuts to me. They just don't. This is, and I can smell the chocolate in this too. It just takes a back seat to the peanut butter, but it's it's in there. Oh, this is to die for. This chocolate peanut butter cookie is to die for. I'm just, I'm definitely gonna have to get more of these. Definitely more chocolate peanut butter cookies. Absolutely, love it. Um, this one fell out, so we'll move to this one. This is lemon zucchini cornmeal cookie. Now, how interesting is that? I don't like zucchini. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm kind of over the... And it's got, like, sprinkles on it. You can see it looks like, you know, like sugar or whatever. Um, I'm over the whole zucchini thing. I truly am. Okay, some of these bags are resealable and some of them are not. Okay, that's kind of weird. But, okay, so I'm going to have to cut this one. Because, unfortunately, the ones that are not resealable, the bag's a little thicker. And if you pull, it'll rip the bag. But. Um, do I like this one? This is, what is it again? Lemon zucchini cornmeal cookie. I'm going to say it's not my favorite. Obviously, I'm going to let it cure. I can't even really tell you what it smells like, to be honest with you. I mean, it almost smells like a sugar cookie again to me, but, and I can definitely smell the zucchini, which, you know, eh, I, I don't know. I'm not going to say it offends me, because it doesn't. I, I just, I'm kind of just over it. And there's not enough lemon scent in here. So I'm hoping the lemon scent pops. It's different. Lemon zucchini corn meal cookie is different. It's different. Um... I just said, I don't know, that's in my maybe list. Next, these things are just too cute. They just so look like cookies. They're absolutely adorable. This one is, <clears throat> this one's candy cookie. And I'm going to show you the others. Look at the little apron. How cute is that, right? From the Kitchen of Granny's Country Candles. And it has little, like, candies on it. Because if you look at the back, see? They like, they're like, <clears throat> excuse me, God, I'm losing my voice. They're all the way through. So candy cookie, like, you know, what does candy cookie smell like? I will tell you in a minute what it smells like. 
Actually, and I'll just pull one out. I don't know if I pulled one of these out yet, but it's just too cute. It's almost like it's got like a bunch of M&Ms in it. You know, that's what it looks like. And again, I I don't know, it's hard. I'm getting um I'm getting a definite sugar cookie smell to like most of these that I've um the flat cookie ones so far. I'm getting a sugar cookie smell. Which is nice. I mean it's nice, I just don't know what's candy about it. I'm just not I'm not smelling candy right now, but it's a cute pink color. I get to tell you it doesn't come up on my monitor or whatever my screen is pink. Um uh, but it's a very light pink color. Um but it's nice. I like it. Like I said, it kind of smells like a what you call it, a sugar cookie. Now this one I thought was so cute because I remember these cookies. Um they used to come in that brown tin. I want to say I want to say Entenmann's, but I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong. And this is raspberry Linzer cookie. Raspberry Linzer cookie. And it had the short, like the shortbread around it with the raspberry jelly filling. And look at that. Look at, see how it looks? The cookie looks just like cookie. And then the, um, it's got some sugar on it. You can see the sugar. And then the, um, the jam filling looks like jam. Look at that. Look at how it, oh, that's so cute. And this one's really nice. It's very berry right now. So I'm not getting too much cookie scent. But it, it's really nice. I like it. And look at that thing. I mean, it's just too cute. It's adorable. Um, someone asked on one of the candle groups who makes the best, like, cookie kind of, um, co best looking cookie things, and Granny's was definitely up there. Um, I voted for one other vendor in Granny's, because, I mean, these just look absolutely delicious. It looks like cookies. Now, <clears throat> this is cherry chip cookie. Now, for a person who doesn't like cherry, you would say, okay, Chris, why'd you order? Well, because I ordered from another vendor um, a cherry chip bread scent. I believe it was, it was, it could have been cherry chip cookie, but I think it was cherry chip bread. And I thought I was going to hate it. I was like, oh, no. Like, you know? And I ended up loving it. Or I may have gotten a deep dish. I don't remember. Yeah, see, this one I don't like. Too cherry. And it's that maraschino, cherry syrupy kind of thing. I don't like this one. The cherry chip cookie is not for crust. This will be going. But look at I'm having a huge giveaway soon, guys. I haven't figured out. Um... Look at that cookie. It looks just like a cookie. Uh, like, you can just eat it. It's so cute. I'm having a huge giveaway for over, um, I've reached over 150 subscribers. And my last giveaway was actually pretty big, but this one's going to be really big, guys. So, um, all my subscribers need to stay tuned. Um, but this is going to go in the box. Um, but it's not just going to be, um, wax. I think I'm going to do, like, my fa like my favorite things. <clears throat> you never know. There could be gift certificates in there. There could be gift cards in there. There could be, you know, nail polishes or uh, perfume. I mean, you have no idea. It's just going to be, I think it's going to be a lot, it's going to be my favorite thing. Um, this one is just labeled country cookie. So, i kind of thinking, again, this one kind of looks like, it's got blue in it. So, and this one is taped. Um, I'm thinking again, it's probably going to smell like sugar cookie, but I could be wrong. Yeah, and I'm wrong. This smells like, more to me, like a spiced, almost like a, um, Like, close to an oatmeal raisin, but not quite. This is more of a spicy cookie. And I'm not a big spice person. 
I don't know, like, spicy zucchini bread I don't like, the sweeter zucchini bread I can deal with, like I said, I'm kind of all over, I'm over that phase, but this may be a little too spicy for me, because I think I'm catching a lot of cinnamon in here, like I said, not too much, sometimes I stick my face in the bag, and I'm like, whoa, like, but this is a definitely a spicy cookie, like, a, um, but not like a, like, am I smelling like ginger, is it like a gingerbread? No, I think it's cinnamon. I want to say it's, it's either ginger or cinnamon that I'm smelling, but it's a spicy cookie. Um. Okay, the next one is, now I hope I love this one, because I love anything butterscotch. Oh, that's also within my sugar bale. Perfume is butterscotch. <laughs> I just, I love, oh my god, I love it, love it, love it. Um, butterscotch cookie. So, and these cookies are just so, oh my god, they're just so cute, you guys. So, um, more about my giveaway. I posted the Candles Anonymous group. I wanted ideas as to what to do for it, like what I want the contest to be. Um, the majority of it's probably going to be wax, but, and who doesn't love wax? But it's, like I said, it's going to be a biggie, so I don't know. It may be gifts or, or some gift certificates, too, in addition to other vendors. I, have, I haven't decided yet, to be honest with you. And I don't know when it's going to be. But this is really nice. Um, I don't know if I'm smelling butterscotch or if it's smelling more like a toffee to me. No, it's a butterscotch. It's nice. I like it. Again, you know, I'm sure once I let, it, let this thing cure, it's going to be much, much better, but I really do. I like that one. That's definitely in my yes pile. Um, here we have, <laughs> this one's so cute. Waikiki Banana. Now, look at the shape of this cookie. So it's shaped sort of like a Hawaiian flower, and I'm going to pull it out because it's got, it's got icing, white icing on it, and then it's got the sprinkles. Um, oh, I hate all these ones I have to cut, guys. But you guys watch my videos, so you know when you get stuff from me that if it's re, you know, resealed, you know, and the label looks like this, that I, you know, this is all I've done to it. I, you know, I don't, you know, I haven't used any of them. I haven't. I mean, you know, that's not how I work. But this is so cute. Look at the top of this. Mine, unfortunately, got a little smushed. But look, it's got a lemon, I mean, a, an orange slice on the top. How cute is that? And this smells awesome. Now, I don't know if I would say this smells like a cookie, to be honest with you, but it smells really good. This is what? Waikiki banana. And I do catch the hint of banana, and I catch the orange. Um, There is a creaminess to it, so... The orange is more is a more prominent note. The banana is is behind that. Um, I don't know what else this is supposed to smell like, to be honest with you. But as far as cookie, I'm not sure. I definitely, it definitely um has a creaminess to it, which might be vanilla or could be buttercream. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably not buttercream, just because I really don't like buttercream. I'd probably pick that up, but. Um, if any grannies, I know there's grannies fans out there, I know there is, um, or any of the granny consultants out there, um, know what any of these cookies are supposed to smell like, if they have scent descriptions for the cookies, or they can post a link, well, I don't think you post a link on YouTube, but if you could message me or something and let me know a link to the scent descriptions, I will list them in the, um, about section, because I, like I said, I'm a stickler for, um, what do you call it? Um, that description. And this one is lime coconut cookie. And this is so cute. Again, this is frosted, and it looks almost like flakes of coconut on the top of it. Can you catch that? Well, I'm going to pull it out anyway. Whatever. And, and it's an awesome green color. Um, I mean, hey, i got to cut it open anyway, right? Might as well just take it out. If you're going to go for it, just go for it. 
See, this is what happens, though. When I go for it, I get... Okay, so it has, like, a white icing. This is nice. I definitely smell the lime. Lime and the coconut. Again, like I said, I don't know if it smells like a cookie. I think the cookie comes, um, in the shape. To be honest with you, with 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 a lot of these citrusy ones, um, because I'm not catching a lot of bakery cookie smell, but they do smell good. That's for sure. Um, I love lime scents and coconut. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm really making a mess here. I just turned the air conditioner off to, to, to do the uh, video, so it's quite, um, getting quite humid in here. But this one is chocolate chunk cookie, so I am, look at, look at the chocolate chunks in it. Isn't that so cute? Oh my god, it's so cute. Looks like, like a big chocolate chip, well, chocolate chunk cookie, not chocolate chip, because they don't look like chocolate chips, they look like chocolate chunks. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I think this one is like spot on. This, this is really good. Um, this is really good. Uh, is it a spot on chocolate chip cookie scent? I don't know. I don't think so. Like if I opened up a bag of chocolate chip cookies, I don't necessarily think like, oh yeah, this is exactly what it smells like. But it does smell good, I will tell you that much. Not too chocolatey, not overpowering, just enough. And then you get, again, a sugar cookie. I think most of them have a sugar cookie base. That's what I'm getting. So it's kind of like a chocolate sugar, sugar cookie um, is what I'm smelling. So that's a really nice one. Oh, I like that. Okay. And now this is, remember we had the chocolate peanut butter cookie, which I said I have to get more of. Well, here's just your straight up peanut butter cookie. It looks the same. I'm not going to pull it out because it looks the same as the chocolate peanut butter cookie with the little fork um, indents, which are just too cute. Love it. Because um, your mom always had to put the fork things on there because it wouldn't taste the same if it didn't have the fork indents on there. Um, so good. <sighs> Now, how I compare my peanut butter, or like when I smell a peanut butter scent, is like opening up a can of Jif. Now, I don't eat that kind of peanut butter anymore. In fact, I don't really eat much peanut butter anymore. But when I do, it's all natural teddies, unsalted. All you have in there is peanuts. Like, period. Peanuts and oil. Like, and the peanut oil that comes from the peanuts. That's it. There's no salt. There's no sugar. There's no nothing in it. With the, with the Jifs and the Skippies and all that, even if they say all natural, they got all the sugar in, in it. They got salt in them. I stay away from those. Um, so I'm used to the all natural now, but when I smell a cookie, a peanut butter scent, I kind of want to open it up and smell like Jif peanut butter. Jif is like the best smelling peanut butter ever. Isn't that funny too? Because like peanut butter, people like peanut butter smells like peanut butter, but it doesn't. Jif, Jif peanut butter like really smelled the best. We can have a debate below. Who's a Jif fan? And who's a Peter Pan fan? Who's, who likes Peter Pan peanut butter? And who's a Jif peanut butter fan? Because I was a Jif peanut butter girl. I remember the first, you know, you take the pea, you peel off the top. Oh, and you always want to be the person to get the first scoop. We used to actually, a funny story about peanut butter, and it's a short one. My, in my dad's Christmas stocking every year, this was before he had his heart, first heart attack at the age of 39. Or 38. Um... And his first bypass surgery at the age of 40. Um, and then three more bypass surgeries after that. And he's still alive and kicking, guys, just so you know. So don't get too depressed. But before that, every Christmas in his stocking, we would get him a can of Jif. I mean, or a bottle of Jif. You know, a container of Jif, and we put it in his stocking. And my father would go to town with a spoon. That's it. You know? Don't touch his peanut butter. Don't try to make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches out of it. Like, do not touch. He would put, do not touch dad's, you know, peanut butter. Like, we knew. Like, if there was no peanut butter in the house, except dad's, and you wanted to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you weren't getting peanut butter and jelly. 
you were getting a jelly sandwich. That was it. Because you do not touch Dad's peanut butter. It's so funny. Um, this is chocolate caramel cookie, and this looks like a, this is kind of like a bar cookie. I'll pull, I'll pull this one out, just because this is an interesting. Um, oops. Let me cut that one too nice. Uh, oh, well. Um, this one's kind of funny. This one. What is this one called? Chocolate caramel cookie. Now, what's cool about this? This is really cool. So I was looking at the back of it. You can probably see it better on the back. You see those light marks? Those are like caramel chunks. And if you look over here, you can see this is kind of like a bar cookie. It's not round. It's not. It's rectangular. It's a rectangular cookie. And but then you can see like the little chocolate chunks in there too. But can you can definitely see? Oops, see right here? See the caramel chunks? That's so cute. Oh my god. And it smells just like my chocolate caramel perfume. This is a good cookie. <laughs> this is a good cookie. I would, you know, it's, what's scary is some of this stuff, you really could, like, you really, you smell it and you really could take a bite out of it. I mean, just the way it looks and then you smell it, you're like, oh my god, it smells so good. Ah, uh, like you, seriously, like, keep these away from children. Um, and it's not, I'm not lying, it's not a joke, because a child would definitely take a bite out of this. I mean, if I'm tempted to take a bite out of this, by the look of it and the smell of it, a child would definitely take a bite out of this. So keep this away from children, guys. Absolutely. Um, chocolate caramel cookie. Put that in my faves pile. I have one more for you here, and this is... Hazelnut chocolate cookie. And again, it's another rectangular one. I love... Does this have scotch tape on it? I think this one has scotch tape on it. Please tell me I didn't rip this a little bit. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Um, I'm going to pull this one out again because this has a hazelnut on top, you guys, and it looks just divine too. Chocolate hazelnut is like one of my favorite scents too. I love the smell of hazelnut. Like I love peanut, but hazel I don't know, hazelnut is just it's a lot more like peanut butter is like a nice kid scent and then hazelnut is kind of like more mature. I hate I hate when people say that. Mature. Mature. <laughs> when people say mature it just cracks me up. Like our relationship's gotten a lot more mature. I'm like it sounds like manure, right? No. It's gotten mature. You've, you've matured. You haven't matured. I don't know. Oh, but this is amazing. And look at the little hazelnut. Again, Chris just going on one of her rants. You can say it however you want it. That's just how Chris says it. Um, if you say it to me a million times, though, if you say mature, and I'm in a conversation, I will probably say something to you. Like, can you pick another word? <laughs> I'm going to start laughing at you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mean it. I'm just kidding. No, I may laugh at you just because I think it's funny. Um, but that was it, guys. That was my haul, and it's actually quite big. So we're just under an hour by two minutes. Um, so, like I said, these cookies were really, really good. I really like them. I really like, um, except for a few, which, you know, like I said, it works out for you guys because they're cutting my hair. Here, it works out for you guys because then they go in my giveaway box. And, like I said, the giveaway is going to be huge. So, stay tuned for the announcement. I don't have it yet. But I will post Granny's information below. Um, I'm not going to post my link below because I don't have a link anymore because I am no longer compulsive for Granny. But, it was fun while it lasted. It lasted a couple months. It was fun. Um, and... Wendy's just awesome. Wendy Tanner is just an awesome lady. I really like her a lot. She's she's super, super sweet. So, I got some good stuff. Um, and I will keep you guys posted on my body spray. Hopefully, I can more. Hopefully, we should do a trade. I don't know. Um, otherwise, they may have me going box to do. You guys may get Vicks Vapor or a body spray. No. 
I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. People probably got Steve's baby and love it. And we're like, oh my god, I love this set. And here I am, like, ragging on it. It's just not for me. It's too much mint. Too much eucalyptus. Not even mint. It's eucalyptus. But it just reminds me of tea tree oil, and I wouldn't spray that all over myself. But anyway, so you guys have an awesome, awesome night, uh, rest of your evening, because it's still evening. It's 1122. I am not making videos at 3 o'clock in the morning. I need to get some rest, because my power is going to go off. This is my plan. I'm going to sleep in or as long as I can, because um, I won't care, because there won't be any power. Although, if it's hot and the air conditioner goes off, that's going to stink. But... Um, and my daughter's working, or so she's working all day, so she doesn't care. Um, I'm gonna sleep as long as I can, and then I'm gonna get up and do my nails, and I don't know, and hopefully when I get back, maybe visit my mom. I'll visit my mom. I haven't visited my mom all week. I'll visit my mom. Because she'll have air conditioning and television <laughs> and internet. Hey, mom, I'm here to visit you. And then I'll be like, okay, I'll be back. No, I'm just kidding. I love my mommy. So, everybody love your mommies while you have them, because... You know what? Life's too short. Um, so you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your rest of your evening, and um, I would say stay dry if it's raining in your area because it's raining here. And um, roll up your windows. And like I said, I'll post all Granny's information below. And Granny's is always a great deal. It really is always a super deal. You really can't like. Oh, oh my God! I almost forgot. Holy moly! I didn't show you my perfect. Hold on. Hold, please. So I ordered $30 and a body spray I can't stand and all these bakery cookie scents, which actually not a lot of them were bakery. bakery. So that was pretty cool. Am I sitting on something? To get, hello, this delectable, scoopable parfait, you guys. Check this sucker out. This is how you look at it. It's going like this. This is actual glass. This is not plastic. This is actual glass. I will be making a candle out of this when I'm done. But look at, oh my gosh. Look at the embeds on top. I hope you can see all these. Okay? Because you have a flip flop. I'm always going the wrong way. A flip flop, guys. See the flip flop? No. Put it in the center, Chris. Maybe they will see the flip flop. You have a flip flop. You have. Oh, this is a little, on the bottom here, is a little tiki guy. And then you have a cute little, look at, like, Hawaiian shirt in a scoopable. And this is in, this came in this nice cello, and I was able to get it out, and I will be able to put it back, because I was afraid. I was like, oh, no. All I need is a straw. Like if there was a wax straw, that'd be so cute, but that would break. Oh, these in embeds are so cute. And there's a discussion on whether Granny's embeds were scented to match the scent. Look, I'm sticking this thing up my nose. I think these are scented. Sometimes she says she scents them to complement the, um, the wax. Other times they're unscented. But look at all the colors. Look at this parfait. It's so cute. It looks just like a parfait. It is absolutely adorable in this nice stemmed cup. And like I said, all glass right here, guys. Super heavy. And these cute, adorable embeds on the top with, the, you know, a few little sprinkles and everything. This is so cute to scoop, you know, too cute to scoop. I'm glad I have it on video. <laughs> I'm really glad that I do have it on video because, you know what, so much, so much, so much of this stuff, is just too adorable that I would melt it and it'd be gone forever. And now I have it. But this is in Tropical Holiday. There was a tropical one, and then I think there was a bakery one. I'm not sure, and I was so hoping I was going to get the tropical one. And I did. And I think that's because Wendy looked at the board and was paying attention. I, I love you, Wendy. I really do. I, I like, I, I, you know, just because the consulting thing didn't work out for me, I love her to death. She's awesome. Um... I got nothing but love for her. She's great. Um, she really listens. She really does. So this is in Tropical Holiday, which is Apple Mango Tango, which normally I thought was like a game scent, but obviously it's not in this one. Um, lemon Vanilla Bean Noel and Hot Pink Lime. This just smells so tropical and awesome and fruity and delicious. 
and I mean, this is really going to be hard to um, scoop. But it really is to, I don't know. I don't know how people do it. I don't think there's been any, like, really beautiful stuff like this that I've melted. I mean, well, I'll put that back in another, at another point. But to be honest with you, I don't think there really has been any, like, really, really nice um, ones that I've melted. And, and even these cookies, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, the ones I have two of, like the chocolate peanut butter and the peanut butter, I'll probably melt because I have another one. But they're just so awesome that... Oh, they're just so beautiful. Anyway, that was the Peace de la Resistance. Was the parfait? It's just beautiful. It's pink and like a like a really nice lemon color. And then the middle is more in beds. Actually, in the middle is more in beds. I thought that was just whack. <gasps> they're more of like the tiki heads, and it looks like little shells. Oh, it gets better and better. And then so it goes from pink. It's just so hard to tell on my monitor. Same thing with my hair. You can't tell what color it is. But it goes pink to yellow. Then it has all these embeds in here. Like I said, tiki masks and seashells. Just so adorable. And then it goes down to a, a like a lime green color. So beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. Masterpiece. Work of art. Absolutely work of art. So anyway, that was it, guys. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Like I said, stay cool wherever you are. I love you guys so much. This was this Granny's Country Candles haul. I will melt. I will melt below. I will put your info below. And uh, maybe I will um, melt some of these co cookies, some of these bad boys. So at the end of the week, I'm doing the um, my what I've melted this week. So I'll let you know how it goes. So mwah, love you guys. Peace. Have a